in this video we are going to discuss about static default and dynamic routing so before going to routing topics so what is a router you see destination address to where the packet is destined is called routing and the layer 3 protocols such as ip ip protocol takes care of this one so neighboring routers from which the neighbors are discovered and the packets are to be moved also is is learned in the routing concept here so routes to remote networks and a way to determine are also learned here so way to learn verify manage routing information is also is learned in static dynamic and also default routing incomplete incorrect or unstable routing information is also worse than having any routing information that means you should be having the information of the routing to which destination this packet has to be moved. So, the incomplete details or incorrect details will lead to wrong routing as well as the performance issues in your network. So, what are the three types of network of the network routings we will see here. So, static routing, default routing and dynamic routing. What is static routing? This is a method by which administrator manually adds the route to the routing table of a router coming to default routing it is a method where all the routers are learned by their neighbors as well as configured to send packets towards a single router coming to dynamic routing this method where protocols are algorithms are used automatically propagate routing information so by using algorithms and also by using the protocols automatically they propagate the in routing information and also following sections we can see how a static ex a routing is used and also the examples of transferring the packets from source to destination we will see as well as we will be seeing examples for default routing and dynamic routing. So, the first one is static routing. So, coming to the static routing you can see first before the static routing speaking about the advantages we speak about the disadvantages. So, what are the disadvantages of the static routing? You see administrator needs to know each and every network topology as well as devices in it and the internetwork information also should be known so well that he or she should, should know about the destination networks lies so that the packet has to transfer from source to destination so that the routing table can manually be added with the route information and in large networks it is unmanageable that means the network supervisor or network administrator should know about each and every topology in the network as well as the devices details so that in the larger networks it is unmanageable. So, to add a static route we use the following command in the global configuration mode. So, coming here what is the syntax IP route destination network wildcard mask next hop address that means next router to router is called a hop. So, what is the next hop address and also the routers exit interface details here. So, you can see here that you can specify exit interface instead of the router or destination because through which the packets is passing through is the interface. So, we give the exit interface details here you see host 1, host 2 and host 3 and 2 switches are connected to them and 3 routers. So, from host 1 to host 3 if a packet wants to get moved. So, it should be learned about all the routing information here and it is mandatory to know the destination IP address as well. So, you see here each router in the path should know the source and destination this is a common concept in routing. So, each in source and destination details should be known in the each router. So, assuming our source is host 1 and our destination is host 3. So, let us look here. So, how the traveling path takes place here. So, after passing from host 1 to switch the path is router 1, router 2 and router 3. So, it, it should go from router 1, router 2 and router 3 here. So, router 1 does not know about the destination network, router 1 does not know about the destination network. So, what it will do and how it will forward the packet. So, they have to add a route here. So, the next hop for router 1 towards destination is router 2 FA 0 slash 0 interface. That means, you can see clearly here from router 1, if the router 1 does not know the destination details we add a manual route here about passing through which interface to the destination. So, router 1 is passing the information or packet to router 2 to the interface of the router 2 
which is fa0 slash 0. The route can be added using following command. So, we add the manual route here that is IP route, the IP address and wildcard mask through the interface details, exit interface details. So, it is exiting from so and so interface to router 2. After passing here, router 2 does not know about the destination network. So, router 2 also does not know about destination network. So, what we will do? We will add a manual route again here for the next hop towards router interface FA0 slash 0 of router 3. So, this is the interface details. So, again we write IP route, the IP address of the destination, the wildcard mask and it is exit interface it is going to is 10.1.2.2. So, the router 3 knows the destination network since it is directly connected to so that the following path is router 3, router 2 and router 1. So, by this path the destination source is connected to. So, coming to router 3 does not know about the network. So, what it will do? So, it will route should be added using the following command. So, again we will add another manual route. So, that router 1, router 2 and router 3 we added a manual routes to know the destination path. So, we have configured in config, a global configuration mode we have given the details that is 192.168.1.0 with the wildcard mask as well as the in exit interface details here. So, router 2 also does not know about so and so network. So, we add manual routes each and every time so that when the source does not know about the destination and when destination does not know about the source here. So, router 1 being directly connected to the network knows about the network already. So, here you get all these informations by typing a syntax called IP route. So, after typing IP route, you get the details of the interfaces as well as the manual routes added here. So, this is about the static routing. We will be discussing about the default routing in the next video.